Hello everybody and welcome. I'm FG and Lawn Mowing Simulator is a probably one of the most satisfying simulators that I've played all year. And the cat apparently agrees with me as well. I play the game for about seven-ish hours on stream. I think on two separate days I did like split streams, so just to preface this, review with how much time I've actually played the game. And it is, for me personally, really fun and relaxing and satisfying seeing that grass appear. So I have to preface this review that I would probably recommend this game, but there are a couple of things that are currently ranging from like mildly annoying to like really annoying when it comes to the game. And uh, I really hope that uh, now that it's the new week and the weekend's over that we see uh fixes for for these issues um for one there are only sit down mowers and honestly I, it feels a bit weird to do like the edges of properties with sit down mowers because you really wouldn't do that especially not if you're like close to flowers you would get a strimmer or a wheat whacker or whatever you want to call them whatever type of British, like you know English you're speaking British English American English whatever you would get a handheld tool for it because this person walking around right because you have to go and pick up to get mowing so why not have a swimmer or a wheat whack or whatever you want to call it in there to do the edges of the property with and the edges of like flower beds because it is probably one of the most frustrating things to try and do corners with the sit down mowers who have their blades in the middle of the vehicle so ultimately, I really, really, really hope that they add some handheld uh, tools. So it just becomes a little bit more realistic and just a little bit less frustrating to do these really tight, tiny corners. I know that gets a little bit easier once you've got the zero turn mowers and that sort of stuff and whatnot, but it just doesn't feel as satisfying to do the corner bits and it's a little bit frustrating so i really hope that gets fixed and then the second big thing actually that is that has been uh, bothering me and other people that like to achievement hunt achievements are utterly broken in the game so uh, a lot of achievements don't work you'll get them but then every time you close the game it resets your achievement progress so they show up on your on your steam while you're in game you get like the pop-ups there's at least like four achievements that do that and then you close the game and then they're just gone from your from your steam profile so if you're like me and you like hunting achievements wait for an update that hopefully will become that hopefully comes in the future uh that fixes that because it's a little bit annoying to like constantly see the pop up and then go away pop up and go away and it just keeps happening and i'm not the only one there's others who have even had it with more achievements and it's just it's a tiny thing like it's not like anything that impacts gameplay obviously but it's just if you like achievement hunting lawn mowing sim right now is a bit frustrating when it comes to that and then the other thing um that's probably actually a bit more serious and i should have probably mentioned that first is uh controls controls are not bad you have keyboard and mouse controller and wheel support so that's really cool for an indie game to have wheel support is really neat but you can't reassign keys so that's a bit of a bummer like you can't you can't just remap keys hopefully that's something that they'll put in because that shouldn't really be that difficult to do ultimately uh, as an update um but what actually bothers me more is that the camera has opposite controls when like when you're when you're when you're in first person and in third person mode the camera has opposite controls so if you press up in one mode you look up in the other mode you look down and it's really confusing and it throws me off so hard and i don't know who made that decision but it, it's just really confusing <laughs> and it just it just throws me off every time i go and like 
I'm finally done mowing a lawn, and then I go to the next one, and then I have to go run around and for first person mode, pick up the you know the the little bits and bobs that lie around so you don't dam damage your mower. And it's like a different control, and then you've just gotten used to that because you only usually pick around like three to six things up. Uh, before you go back to mowing and then you drop drop on the mower and then the control is different again and it's like no what is happening stop it so i really hope that <laughs> you can invert controls but it inverts it for both so that then you know it, it just changes it around so if you have you know look up like or moving moving the thumbstick up it sit down right looks up and it first, like, or in third person mode, I should say, sorry. In third person mode, it looks up. In, one, in first person mode, it looks down. If you uh, invert the controls, it just inverts it. So that with, you know, it's like, no, <laughs> just give us the same controls for both modes because it's so confusing and strange. And it's, it's, I don't know, it just throws me off. It's not a big thing. It's like, to be fair, a bigger thing is really that you can't rebind keys, really, uh, in terms of accessibility. But... It's just so strange. Why have why have opposite controls for different modes? It's just no. <laughs> it's just really confusing. Um, but ultimately, I do have to say, um, I would still recommend Lawn Mowing Simulator if you're interested. What my recommendation is, I really enjoyed it. It's super satisfying. I'm I'm honestly kind of just I've almost got eight hours in the game now because I played a little bit off stream. And I'm honestly just waiting for them to uh, fix achievements to spend probably loads and loads of hours on my, you know, off stream uh, mowing lawns. So if you're looking for a fun, satisfying simulator that is sort of in the same vein as either Power Wash Sim or something like Vistra Cleanup Detail, but not as gory or, you know, a little bit simpler than Farm Sim because you don't have like giant fields to do. Um, definitely pick up Lawn Mowing Simulator. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, really hope they, they, they put some bug fixes out and control fixes and fix the achievements and all that sort of stuff. On that note, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, go check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me. Um, you get some extra lovely perks that only patrons get. And I will see you all next time. Until then, take care and bye-bye.